Well, let me talk to you. This is Kyle from We The Coasters, joined here by Dylan and Lynn. Yes, sir. And we, and we are here at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. You thought I was gonna say Tampa, didn't you? But yes, we are here, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. This is my second time here. Dylan, your second, your second time here? Yeah, second time. Last time I came here was 2014, so it's been a while, but I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And it's not is sweaty my, hot. This is my third time. I was here when I was six years old, back when uh, Big old Bad. Big Bad Wolf was open. Um, and then the past, uh, my most recent visit before this one was about two years ago. I was here last July. I was here with some people in the Whitewater Canyon crew and uh, decided we're going to come here as a, we're going to come here ourselves and uh, boy, this is going to be a good day. I had a lot of fun at this two, park last year. Two days. Two Florida Thuzies got to figure out how to fix an Ohio person what an actual theme park is. Problem well, solved. I got a good idea of it last year, even though my apologies no, for No, you got to get the full Florida man experience. Exactly. My apologies for the... Uh, for the vlog being the way it was, I went into this place completely blind. I had no idea what to expect. I've studied right, up on the park this time. So and you I missed know. like half the stuff that was there. Yeah, well, you know. But we're going to be here. This is the first of two days that we're going to be here. So uh, today and tomorrow, we're really looking forward to it. As you can see here, the weather is absolutely beautiful. Not you humid guys... like, you know, in Tampa. Yeah, you Five guys... seconds later, after you step out the door, you're sweating. Actually, what's funny is before we came here, it was like 96 degrees outside, and we were sweating terribly. And the moment we entered here, it was like 70 degrees. It's like today, I got off 80. the plane in Dayton, and it was like, oh, man. did I just, is there a change of... <laughs> Yeah. This is kind of how it's been in Ohio here. Um, it's beautiful. And uh, at the end of the video, speaking of Ohio and Kings Island, everybody you know, knows that I usually cover, I always cover that park. Uh, at the end of the video, I will have an update on those. So uh, be sure to slow and steady. Yes. So uh, do we have anything else to add before we get going here? Let's get started. Absolutely. I'm tired. So before we get going, just gotta just gotta do the typical uh, business here. If you like what we do here, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, give us a follow on Instagram. We will have a link to all of our social media platforms in the description. So until then, so with that, let's get the, let's get this thing started. Let's go have some fun, shall we? Okay, so we decided to take, take a stop here in Emporium. I think that's how you say it, Emporium, Imperium, yep. however you say it. Gonna take a look at some of the merchandise. We show, I like showing off a lot of uh, the Cedar Fair merchandise at Kings Island and Cedar Point, but man, Busch Gardens, uh, Williamsburg, man, they got some good stuff here as well. See this really nice Loch Ness Monster t-shirt? One on the left here is 30 bucks, and then this one here is 33. Here we have a Griffin shirt. Here we go, Alpen guys. This is my favorite right here. I, this is tempting right here. I'm not gonna that's lie. A, I actually just noticed that. That's a nice shirt. I like the cabin that's in the background. Me too. Nice colors on it. Feels really here, soft go too. Uh, Let me see what it is here. It's thirty bucks. Ninety-nine. Not too bad. It's decent. Oh, hey Kyle, check over here. We got a big bad and wolf jacket. Here's a Seventy-five dollars, but oh my gosh, and I'm drooling. And here's a throwback to you right here. Big bad wolf, the former arrow. Suspended coaster. Uh, Although the only downside is 75 bucks. Lynn has the has the. Uh, I've got the credit in the group. Has got the credit, able to say that. So a nice job on that. I think that's. I never see. I never. I didn't even know about this place when oh, I was here Gantheon last year. Got the Gantheon and uh, Monster here. So we got a lot of good, a lot of cool merchandise here uh, as well. So. Yeah, the Bush Gardens parks are not bad with their merch, but uh, the prices. I see the shirt that I want right over there. Oh, check this out. They have a crane for the for like uh, the England little uh, telephone booth. That's awesome. With Bob Ross on it. That is comical. I That's good attention to detail, though. They have a lot of Bob Ross stuff, creatures like that at Kings Island, so this is nothing uh, new to me. You got your ride pins right here. I'm a big fan of these. I have a lot of Kings Island ones. I have a few uh, Cedar Point ones as well, so I have a huge collection of ride pins. Might have to uh, get me some of these as well. Need to watch what I do here. I don't have a whole lot of money on me, but yeah, that. We got a wolf shirt that's over here for like thirty bucks. This is what I was talking about right here. This is oh, this part, yeah. Over See, they got the same thing as Tampa, but Slap and Williamsburg and their coasters here. They have my size. I will definitely get one. So, like the feel of it. XL. Uh, yes. Two two X. Uh, two XL. Yeah, in the back. <laughs> Might have to get that right away. You, know, you never know. Cause... And then there's one more shirt. Notice this there. It's uh, Gordon the Friendly Dragon. It's a throwback one there from like back in the day, and that is 30 bucks. Not bad. Check this Bush Gardens uh, Williamsburg shirt right there. All the different countries and the uh, words there, very nice. 
So yeah, they got some good stuff here. Some other Bush Gardens uh, long sleeve t-shirt. We'll definitely make some purchases here on our second day. Absolutely. So just wanted to showcase some of the merchandise here. What's going on? Okay, so after making a stop in Emporium, I did buy myself a t-shirt already. Um, I wear a 2X. I, it seems like every man in America wears 2X. So you see a 2X, you see that in your size. You get it right away. What are these hills? From Florida, what is this? I'm not used to the hills here. Apparently, no. it's flat. The <laughs> Tampa's really flat, so we're making oh, our way. Oh, there's a fly here. I believe we are making our way to uh, Scotland right now to our Loch Ness monster. Is, uh... We can at least check out the fly seal real quick. Absolutely. Uh... So the funny thing about Bush Gardens from before at SeaWorld, back in the day, because they were owned by Anweiser Bush, these fly seals were the big uh, staple and whatnot. Oh, yeah. So you could pet, pet them, have um, pictures with them and um, whatnot. One of the thing, when you think yeah. about Budweiser, one of the things that should probably come to mind are the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales. Yeah. And sure enough, there they are. This but, one right there. I think this is the only park that has them because, of course, all the ones in Florida, they've migrated elsewhere, but... That's so cool that they're here, though. I'm very, very happy. And I don't think they have a name of the of the horse that's shown here unless somewhere else. But yeah, that's awesome, though. So there is another thing that I do want to showcase real quick. Now, Lynn has these currently right now, but she is in the bathroom real quick. But uh, we do have media passes for filming on the ride. So what it is here about Williamsburg is when you go to this park, you make sure like when you bring your camera, like a hand and wrist mount, they check it, make sure everything's all good. And then they'll give you the okay, good to go. They'll give you a media pass, and you're you're set. Now this is the only park within the chain that actually does this. The Florida parks don't do it, and I don't think the Sea World parks in uh, San Diego and San Antonio do that, or the Sesame Street area. I don't think they do that either, too. But this is cool that they have this, and this is part of the reason why I do like Williamsburg a lot. This is technically the first time I've actually filmed within the rides for Williamsburg, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. But um, I do wish all the parks would do that. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Cedar like, Fair Parks especially, that would be wonderful. But, and, and Universal, yeah. that would be huge. But to, to an extent, I get what's going on, but at the same time, it's just like, come on, if man. If you're doing it safely, like, don't be an idiot and use your cell yeah. phone. Just use one of good. these. Yes. One of these or, use, or a chest mount, that's it. Or use glasses that have a video, ca with video the camera built in with, with a strap. Yeah, as long as you're doing it safely, you're not an idiot using your phone yeah. where it's going to fly off and hit somebody. That's understandable, but come on. I mean, if you're doing it safely, I don't see an issue with it. Which uh, we'll probably show you a little later what the pass looks like, but I do want to say, though, big thank you to Bush Gardens Williamsburg for having this awesome system. That is fantastic, say the least. I can't agree more. So after Dylan and I looked, decided to uh, get our pictures take, picture taken next to the Clydesdale. Which was finally, awesome. Yes. Finally, it is time for our first ride. And we're going to start out with the legendary Loch Ness Monster, the legendary Arrow Looper, as you see right there. Now this year, they got a lot of refurbishment. Lots of it. Yes. New uh, effects added to it. And I rode this last year. I rode it twice. I was very impressed with it. I am not the biggest fan of arrow loopers, as I've made it clear. But this thing was incredibly smooth last year. I can't imagine how smooth it is now after it's been worked on. So, uh, well, it's not just TLC, but they also did a lot of uh, U work around here, too. Yeah. So they have a uh, brand new set, which uh, most of it is around the loops and uh, around the exit, running on the left foot. Listen. Standing around outside the queue, like you see right over here. Listen to that arrow chain lift. Oh, beautiful. So we are looking forward to this. You see a Griffin over there as well. Um, right, and I believe Alpine Guys is right there as well. So looking forward to hitting those too. But uh, we're going to start out with Loch Ness. Looking forward to this. Awesome. Okay, we just got off a of Loch Ness monster. My God, what an amazing uh, chain. Yeah. I've never experienced an arrow looper that smooth before, and I thought it was smooth last year, but man. Yeah, it really good. It was. So I'm just gonna say this, so when I rode it 10 years ago, I mean, it wasn't as bad as it was, but um, the funny thing is you definitely get some pops of airtime, and then like, um, I'm gonna say it's as loud as a canter. So that first turn, there's a video by El Toro Ryan called Prime Mac Roller Coaster. It's yep. a great video if you check it out. There's that jerk that's there. I forgot about that jerk. That was the funny part. But man, uh, the loops are not bad. Oh, I love Powerful. the loops. Powerful. Yeah. But they were very good. Lynn, what'd you think of it? My gosh, the upgrades. It just got a straight up facelift. Man, that tunnel scene was my favorite part. Yes. Tunnel was great. Man, that, yeah, we're definitely going to ride this again later on. That's uh, uh, 
<laughs> so I will say though, there's definitely a lot of change. Uh, Premier did a very good job. Very yes. impressed by them. Absolutely. So while we're in the area, I think we're going to do uh, Griffin next. Right? It's right next to it, so it makes all the sense. And Griffin's a great d and dive. So I think we're going to do that now. So that should be fun. Not sure how well you could see it right here, but this is an American bald eagle. Name is Roosevelt. If that doesn't scream America, I don't know what does right here. Yeah, there's American... a couple more in the back over here, but then there's one up in the front. We'll see much better. Oh, there's one up there. It is right there. Wow. That is beautiful right there. Yeah, Woolly Street's not really well known for animals, but there are a few out here, though. <laughs> Check there's three in here total. and uh, There could be more down there, but we at least can see three. American bald eagle. I mean, that is so symbolic right there. That level. You, Absolutely awesome to see. It's one of the things you'll see here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. So we decided to take a ride on Finnegan's Flyer here at the uh, SNS Scream and Swing. Thank you. Rode this last year, a very fun ride. Uh, had another fun ride here. Yeah, it was to great. Going backwards is the only part that really gets me. If they're going forwards, oh, not too bad, but going backwards, that's what really takes me by surprise. Yeah, it's very good. I have to say, so we did decide where the ravine was there, and uh, I have to say, visually, I think this is better, but as far as our experience, I think Tampa's is better. Yeah, I prefer the purple anyhow, purple and green. Mm -hmm. Also, they have a uh, music. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, this one doesn't. No, no but is... I mean, the view of the ravine is awesome. Yes. It's great. Because like you're looking like you're over, it feels like you're gonna jump off and all that. But I like that appeal and appeal there, so it's nice. Absolutely. So uh, what are we doing next, Griffin? Uh, yep, Griffin. Okay. I would say so. Yeah. So we were gonna do that before, but we saw we saw this side to do this stuff first. So off to Griffin. This this will be fun. Okay, this is the time of the day where we're gonna get our B and M fix in here. We just got off of Griffin. This beautiful blue B and M dive. Uh, dive coaster. Yes. We got ourselves a front row ride, which is re really good. We did. So the funny thing is, uh, I did Cheeker about a month ago, give or take, and that ride is good, but it's been starting to have a rattle lately. This one has been very smooth. I was very impressed with and great airtime in the front row. So yeah. I'm satisfied with that. Not complaining. This is only the second dive coaster I've ever been on. The other one was uh, Val Raven. I like both of these rides. I think I like Griffin a little bit better. But, but you I, notice the difference, though. Yes. And I, and I hate comparing coasters, but, you know. Well, the main difference is, I don't know if you can see with the test seat, that's got the old school uh, over-the-shoulder clamshells over there. Yeah, which I'm, are one of the best restraints for being in. And I'm usually not a big fan of over-the-shoulder restraints, but uh, they didn't bother me at all here on Griffin, so. Uh, no, they're so, literally Lynn, perfect. What you think of? It's definitely a classic. Uh, I remember, as a little girl, I was about six, and I would see that very top right there, and I just kind of freaked out because it was so tall, and I was like, oh, you can die out there. Of course, I wasn't even tall enough, but now that I'm older, it's like 200 feet isn't that much. Yes, this is the one who's done Fury, Millennium, and Ryan. <laughs> yeah, and then soon, Top Drill 2, yeah. which... And, uh, we'll see. I, and nope. uh, formerly I-305 as well. Here, yeah. Up here. We, what, are, we are oh. on a three-park... Uh, tour yeah. right now. So I want to say this real let's quick too. At, uh, let's get a look at Griffin going right here. Yeah. Good timing on this one here. It's going to take its first drop right here. But not just that, but the wonderful visual of the Coca Cola Sea Ah there. Yes, yeah, so you get a good look at it from the very top of the uh, drop, and here it goes. Definitely very smooth for a B&M for its age. I'm very impressed Absolutely. by that. They no. take, they've taken great care of that ride. They have, and we're going to go to another B&M coaster, my favorite coaster at the park, Alpenguys. Say the yes. guys. Absolutely. I had to. I don't care who's worth it. So we just uh, got our money's worth of Alpen Geist right there. Back-to-back -back rides, first row in the back. 
came back and did the uh, front row. This is, I said this is my favorite coaster here. It just proved itself why it is. Oh my God. I don't know which ride I, I enjoyed more because honestly on this thing, the front row and the back row, two completely different rides. We rode the back first, like I said. Back row, it is so intense, it is whippy. Oh my God. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. Right in the very front row, it is so smooth and great. And Amazing. Graceful. It's like, man. So the first ride we had, I actually did the back row left seat and holy cow, man. That's some extra whip, man, but that thing is amazing. Now, I haven't ridden this in 10 years. I did not know the mid course had a huge, like, neuter to it. Yeah. But it does make up for the uh, the aversion after the mid course that uh, uh, Corkscrew is there. Very floaty, and it's so good. I love it. But uh, overall, right now, out of all the rides I've done to revisit, that's definitely been the best. But uh, I will say, though, that first ride we did, we had a kid scream background. You probably won't notice that we get the POV up, but oh my we god, apologize terrible. apologize for what you might hear in that, oh, but uh, yeah, right, this shit. ride was actually down last week. It was kind of scared us for a yeah. little bit there, thinking we might not be able to ride it. Thank the good lord above, they got it. They got the uh, issue fixed. Yeah, they were working on a footer. That yeah. was the crazy part, but uh, overall, we still, uh, you know, we got very lucky. So yes. we're very thankful, because like, it reopened, like what, when we made this video, Video like three days ago, so we yeah. got very lucky. Oh God, like this Lynn! Is, yeah, Lynn, you your fun. Yeah, uh... Aside from the annoying kid the first ride, he, was, he unfortunately <laughs> had to sit right next to him. But. Yeah, um, also, uh, I would say that Montu is a bit more tame than this, because, uh, I would say Montu is my favorite because, uh, it's, it's not as intense as this. Because I... It's funny because like the last time I was here, which was like two years ago, um, I don't remember it being that intense, especially with that uh, mid course, oh, to where yeah. it just like punches you. It's like somebody just like put on the e-brake and it was like, nope. Oh yeah, it was and good though. I will see though, the one thing I was visually impressed with too, and I don't know what's going on Montu. So like the, the, the lift hill when Kyle was showing it earlier, the Montu's got a weird vibration there. Here, there's no vibration. It was so quiet and smooth going up, yeah. and I don't know what it is. So, Bush Gardens, Tampa, please fix that lift hill, man. That's I don't know what's going on. Of the three B and M inverts I've ridden, and that's probably my favorite coaster model of anything right there. B and M invert. I've never ridden a bad one. I've been on Banshee several times. I've ridden Raptor enough. Getting my money's worth of Alpengeist uh, here. I, I hope this ain't the last time we ride it. I can't. I don't. I can't imagine it will. Well, be here's the thing. I know you hate comparing yes. coasters. I know you may hate saying which one's better, but do you think this is the most intense? Between that and Rapper, I don't know. Ooh. I mean, Banshee has its moments too, but I feel more kind of floaty with that. But I would say, in general, I I think just although this probably was the most intense ride I've had in Alpengeist, and I think a little more intense than uh, Afterburn in a way because. Um, we rode after, me and Lynn rode Afterburn um, at okay. Carowinds last year. And for how, how quick that ride was, that was still an uber intense ride when we did Afterburn. Yeah. But um, this one was still really good and though. I'm definitely looking forward to Great Bear coming up here in a couple of days. Yeah. So that's going to be great. But if that was an early preview again. though, it's great. Oh my God, yes. So, uh, I know we're going to get some pictures on day two of this ride for sure. Same with Loch Ness and Griffin, but oh my God, this thing. Hey, I, bought I, two, I bought two shirts. I bought, and uh, one of the shirts I bought was an Alpine Guys t shirt, and I had to get that one. So, uh, yeah. Um, I do want to showcase this real quick, though. So, Alpine Guys has a single rider line. Now, when I came here last time, that was not a thing. So, I don't know how long ago this has been a thing, but. Yeah, there's a single rider line here. The only bad part about the single uh, single rider line, as you see right there, uh, you cannot take your seat or your row. So like, whatever they give you, that's what you get. Yeah. But honestly, there's Which probably not a bad seat on this. No, this is, uh -oh. this is an absolute masterpiece. I love the color scheme on it. Yeah, which I they mean, painted it up like a few great, years ago too. Great theming. I mean, golly, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this ride. Oh yeah. So I don't know it. what we're doing next. So maybe we're bolting if it's not too long. But um, yeah, we'll man, see. We're having a good day so far. So we're all getting hungry, so we're gonna get something to eat here at the Fest House. Interesting enough, there's a Fest House at Kings Island and there's a Fest House here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Oh. And I happen to- happen Much to eat. bigger though, much yes, bigger. Yes, and I ate here last year. I don't remember exactly what I had to eat, but I do know I enjoyed it, so. so. I went oh, here 10 I, years ago, it was awesome, loved it. I also have a piece of history and I do have bragging rights for it. Um, when I went here, when I was six, um, my dad hyped my sister and I up for this. And uh, back with the kids' meals, uh, when you got your little kids' meal, you would also get like a little lunch box. And it had Big Bad Wolf, Loch Ness Monster, 
a griffin, and uh, alpine guys, like a yeti, I think. And oh my gosh, one of my favorite artifacts. Very nice. If you can see here, it's also some souvenirs inside the past house too, which is a nice oh, touch. Oh yeah, so. we also found uh, some uh, Big Bad Wolf stuff in here too, because Big Bad Wolf is over where her Bolton is. Yep. Um, you guys don't know. All right, so we're gonna get some to eat. We'll showcase what we have too, so let's go get the food. I'm starving. All right, well, here's a look at what we got here uh, to eat. Here, I just got chicken and fries and a cup of Sprite, cup of Sprite here. Just those three things, 32 damn dollars. What the hell are you guys doing to us here? With discount, by the way, yes, and with, I have a platinum. Yes, with the platinum discount, $32. United That's, Parks, everyone. It unites everyone to hate those prices. That is absolutely ridiculous, and I would be saying, I would be saying other words, but I, I don't want this video getting demonetized yeah. if we ever get to that point. No one you got, uh, so I got some pretzel bites. I know I took a bite out of one of them, and they're kind of a little stale. I'm going to try this one real quick. Yeah, stale, which kind of sucks. And then I got a pepperoni and bacon pizza. Or, excuse me, sausage and bacon pizza. I look like pepperoni to you. Yeah, right? <laughs> but um, that's pretty good, though. And then what I have. Uh, got a, I know technically uh, sharing is not allowed here, but we're going to try to share this cake here. Uh, pickle fries, and then they have like a pretzel bun turkey sandwich, and then you get an orange with it. Pretty sure I had this chicken last year, so looking forward to it. Even though I don't like, uh, I, I don't like the, uh, the the crime that they did to us there with the yeah. prices. But, uh, uh, a quick side note: we were just here, and they like we finished with the performance that was here. That was here, but they always do performances every now and then. But uh, they do a lot of German music that's here, so it's really cool that you get to see that here when you're eating. Absolutely. Very good food, though. I'll tell you that. Yes. Alrighty, after our meal, we're gonna try to take a ride on Verbolton. We're gonna now, brave the Black Forest. Yes. Now, when I was here last year, this is actually the first coaster that I rode, and now we're gonna do this now. So. I want to show these before we do. So this is made by Zier. Many people really don't know what it is, but I'll tell you this though. So these restraints are obviously very comfortable and nothing too bad at all. So it's it's something surprising when you really look at it because Zier. Doesn't really get talked about a whole lot. This is probably their biggest ride they've ever done. Quote unquote big, but don't underestimate me. It's a fun ride to do. It is, it's considered a family coaster, but man, it's a, I think it's pretty intense for a family coaster. Family thrill. Exactly, especially with a drop track. So hopefully we can get the orange train. There's a specific reason for that. So, all right, we're gonna go put our stuff in a locker and we're gonna hop on. So, just got off of her Bolton. I don't know how that ride can be classified as a family coaster. How? Family thrill and it's amazing. Yeah. I... Uh, before we talk about the ride, we got to give a shout out to someone we met on the front row ride. He was awesome as hell. His name was Ryan. Oh, Ryan let me tell you. Ryan Wolf. Wow. Holy that, cow. That dude was awesome. And uh, We made a friend, guys. <laughs> let's just say, he, he taught us a little bit of a trick when we did the ride. So as you go inside, as you're starting to go up, tells whoever's sitting on the left side to kind of just look down like this. Yeah, you gray out a little bit. So uh, nice little trick. And then the funny thing is, like, he's, he had a GoPro just like I got right here, and he's like, "Oh, hey, how you doing, fellow GoPro user?" It worked out well. But then there's another bonus. He's a platinum pass member. He gave us a free uh, quick queue. Yes, he did for skip line for all three of us. So that was I think incredibly that might nice. Have supposed to have been a secret. But um, okay. thank you first off. I gotta yeah, say, yeah. Everybody find the dude named Ryan with a GoPro. Uh, he has yeah. some platinum so, stuff to give out. So let's talk about the ride. So for Bolton, I gotta say I was so happy we to got look the forward to doing it. one that has the big bad wolf. Uh, yes. Nod. Even though it. the wolf didn't help, but um, yeah, that was disappointing. But um, I gotta say though, the ride overall was great. Um, the drop was good. And I'm just going to briefly say it, Hagrid's drop is better than this one because you have a more feel of the drop. It doesn't have like a slow, gradual reposition, but it's still a great ride though. Yeah. And there is a weird rattle on like that final little leg of the ride. Well, I don't the car know why. does a weird rattle too, so Look, you got to stick with the theme, you It's know? It's not terrible, but it's noticeable. I, I actually didn't notice it, so I don't know. But... Lynn, what'd you think? Uh, this has to be my favorite, like, ride so far today as far as experience close second is probably a tie between Loch Ness and Griffin 
Carol, what was your reaction? Uh, Alpha and Gus, we kind of had a bad experience. I mean, I well, don't know did. about these two, but I did. I loved it. <laughs> All the guys love the inverts and the one woman hates them. The one woman's like, I don't like inverts. <laughs> hey, let's go on an invert. I don't like this invert. But no, overall, Verbolt, we love that ride a lot. It's awesome, fantastic ride. Would recommend. If you do get front row, it is worth the experience. And the only thing I kind of forgot, those lap bars there, very comforting. I forgot that they were actually that comfortable. They are. And I think they know too, because like, even on the testing, they don't have a, a head pad that's there. And, and for, our, for whatever reason, ours did, so... And uh, just like yeah. the Blacklot Stock Coaster, a ride themed to a car, does not have a seatbelt. If that's not irony, I don't know what is. No, that's amazing. I mean, technically, if you want to be... I don't know. Well, Backlot's more about a car... Have... And, see, Backlot's more of like a car going through an action theater. This one's like trying to escape the Black Forest. Yeah, not to mention, you know, older vehicles. Yeah, you know, that law was not implemented yet. Overall, yeah, it is fine. great. Under an next attraction. Yes. So we're gonna make our way over to Pantheon. It, it had been down for a while, but uh, yeah, pretty much we, all day, I, I yeah, believe. Yeah, but uh, while we were riding for Bolton, I noticed it running. I noticed it had, it had people on it, so uh, that's a good sign. Unfortunately, only two of us are uh, able to ride it. Yeah, I wonder how. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm too tall. Thanks, Intamin. You know, I have to be six four under. Like, this is one of the few times I don't have a problem only being uh, five foot seven. So, uh, so because of that reason alone, and that I can't do the footage for today's ride, we have Lynn. Yours truly, who goes on uh, Fathom Fury. That means she's gonna have to play camera duty for today. This really sucks for Dylan because Pantheon okay is awesome. Yeah. I rode this multiple times last year, really enjoyed every ride, so. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> Who knows, by the time maybe I'll get 50, I'll, make, I'll be sure to ride it. <laughs> uh, yep, let's go over there and hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's still going, so. So, Len and I just did two rides on Pantheon, one in the front, one in the back. I want to cry. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I feel for you, man. I really do. Shit. Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, it, uh, but I, I like it a little bit better in the front. I, I Definitely a front row type of ride. Yeah, I thought we would really haul ass in the back row. I mean, don't get me wrong, the back was still good, but I just felt like I, I felt more speed in the front row. That was. Yeah, meanwhile, the back row, uh, you can feel a rattle. There's again, a rattle going on. Again, I didn't notice a rattle. I don't know. Sometimes I can pick up on that, sometimes I'm, I can't. But. I'm sensitive, I guess. So I have to ask to see you guys, how was the back spike on the back row? Crazy. It's not that bad. I mean, it doesn't have as much power as going backwards with an air time. Well, now, I say that. Air time hill, no. Well, I say that for a very particular reason in about a couple months there. Yes. Oh. I have to say, it is a very weird feeling getting a pop of air time when you're speeding backwards up a spike. I have never, I, I don't remember that happening last year or whatever, a couple of times then, but uh, yeah, I mean, Pantheon does not disappoint, at least to me. So I want to ask this question primarily to Kyle because I know Lynn's technically done both this and Velocicoaster. How about that restraint by Intamin? I like it. It's comfortable. There's. No, I, I have no complaints over it. I like it. Personally, I just prefer the uh, position of where you put your hands at yeah. on Velocicoaster because it's kind of like a D-ring here versus the uh, kind of like horns or whatever for that uh, for Pantheon. I don't know about you, but I think a good idea would be uh, that tall boy right there, Paulo's Cherry at the first ever Hyper Coaster. Hyper. Yeah. I like the sound of that. It's good to me. All right, well, Dylan and I just did Tempesto. Yes. Got a front row ride. I think that's a very underrated that's ride at this oh, point. I loved it. It's great. I, For whatever reason, I'm probably the weird one. I don't mind comfort collars. It's yeah, weird. I, I don't mind them either. It's... So before I talk about the ride, I just want to showcase this real quick. So this actually just opened very, very recently, like about a week ago. It's Rita's. It used to be a different ice cream shop. Now it's Rita's. So they want to showcase that. Yeah. But um, back to Tempesto. So 
great ride, just like Tigris, nothing too fancy. However, um, they were getting a little uh, antsy for uh, whatever reason with the employees. I don't know what it was, but uh, very, very antsy there. So oh, I don't know what the deal was there. Like I mentioned, I love the color scheme of this. I've always been a Miami Dolphins fan, so the teal and orange, that works perfectly for me. Uh, very fun ride. Oh, loved this it. This is a park that definitely loves our launch coasters, and uh, this is one of the best ones. So uh, this ride deserves m more love, if you ask oh, me. Oh, yeah. And now this one is dedicated to my father. So now we are going to get in line here for Apollo's Chariot. The original B&M hybrid. Yes. So this, this should be good. Back, so part back of row is the way to go. On this so ride. part of me is very excited to ride this because uh, I enjoyed this ride 10 years ago, and uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it's uh, built up since then. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm very, very excited. Yeah, same here. All right, so we just did a couple of rides on Apollo's Chariot. First ride in the back row. And that's, I approve. That's the row to go to if you want a lot of air time. We did the front row after that. Got Surprisingly little, very good. Yeah, got a little bit of air time. Someone needs to owe an apology to that ride. No, I don't. I was stating facts. So the only good place to get air time is the back row. I stand by that. Middle hey, it had good, good, had good floater in the front, though. Yes, it did. So, Lynn, what do you think? Um, back row is definitely nice. Uh, you get a lot of, you know, wind speed in the yes. front. Yeah. Um, I, I it is say, a classic. It is. I will say it's held up very well over time. Ten years ago, it was butter smooth, and it's still very smooth. I felt a bit of a rattle in the back row, too. Um, yeah, I would never expect the BM Hyper to have a rattle. tiny bit. It's weird. Very tiny um, bit. Still, it's held very good. I'm no not, disappointments there. Look, I'm not saying it's a bad ride, okay? I just... What you expect to be sent out of your seat and you're not. That's kind of disappointing to me, but well, you know. It's still fairly smooth for the age though. That's, yes. I think that's all that should count at the end of the day. Treasure those B&Ms, folks. Absolutely. If not, you'll get a crack at it. Yes, just that's scary. <laughs> So we are currently in line for the flying machine. Dylan, you really want to ride this? Yes. So this used to be Sandstorm at Busch Gardens Tampa where Falcon's Fury once stood. And this flat ride, I've ridden a lot as a kid. I love this thing. So I have a huge dear place in my heart for Sandstorm. I miss that ride so much. And the fact that this is here, it blows my mind. So I cannot wait to ride this. I'm super excited. Now, I will remind Kyle, it is not Troika. No. Not Troika. Because this is very, very different, but is very fun. You'll probably see a little bit because uh, we probably won't be able to make this uh, cycle. So we'll give you a little bit of a preview uh, in just a second. Yes. There should be no more than five guests. Okay, so we were wrong. We actually did get on that cycle, so uh, apologies for not giving you guys an example of how that ride is, but... Uh, well, yeah, they miscounted big time, and they didn't know, yeah. but that we was kind of goofy. We were all in separate uh, cars there, amazingly. So. Sorry to the two women we robbed over there. <laughs> not a bad ride. It was pretty, I found it more relaxing than thrilling, but I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's definitely a tamer sandstorm, to say the least, but I still enjoy it. That was like childhood to me, so it was fun. Lynn, what was your thought? Um... Gosh, I. Well, that's the fact you can high five your person during the ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, some dude on the upper train, I thought, you know what? It would be so cool if we could high five this dude and he was into it. And then eventually he got so far away from them to where he just kind of like shook his head and then kind of flicked his hand like, nah, it ain't gonna work. And then once the ride slowed down, it was like we were pretty much adjacent. So I kept high fiving the dude. So I guess so. we will showcase something while oh, we're here, that's, so that's, here is that's a, not opening today. Here is Escape from Pompeii. I rode this last year. This is a very fun ride, but as you can see, it is not open. Yeah, they have right moved now, this to weekend only. Yeah, all the water rides are only weekend only. Right except, now, for so. Lescou, except for Lescou, except for Lescou. Okay, yeah, that, that is true. But I don't understand that decision. It makes no sense to me. Well, but. I can tell why. Look, there's a crane up there on that one. Oh, okay. That but the it. other, But the other water rides, except for, you know, the... Uh, well, the no, this water ride's fun. This it is, is really good. Hopefully this is open tomorrow. We would definitely like to ride this thing. I wrote, like I said, I rode it last year. Really enjoyed it. So, not sure where we're going to next. We still have two coasters we have not ridden. Which that would being, be that Invader, being Invader and Dark Coaster. Yeah. Now, Dark Coaster, I cannot ride. Surprise, surprise. But uh, these two can. Yes. And uh, Invader, well, that's actually the only missing credit that I have for that park. Fun fact. So. Wait, Dark Coaster, you can't ride? No, it's 77. But, um, and we'll never know. Maybe we'll see Loch if Loch Ness Monsters are a short wait. We can maybe hop on again. We'll see. I'm all for that. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. 
Well, we just did another ride on Loch Ness Monster. Front row for me and Lynn. Yeah, so I was in row number three. They had row number two blocked off for, for people, uh, Quick Queue. For Quick Queue and anybody, yeah. there, anybody with ADAs. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, we enjoyed the front. We enjoyed it. My head got knocked around a bit more than uh, Same here. the previous ride. For the second I mean, loop. Still. I hit my knee on the top of the uh, the fiberglass I part. Will never, I will never like those over-the-shoulder restraints that, that that you have on air loopers. Those things are not kind to us short people. It's just, it's like it, they're going after everybody today. You have Intamin going after Dylan here. You have Arrow tall. going after me for being too short, so it's going to knock my head around a bit. Going going after people who are, you know, a bit larger. Yeah. Because those restraints are not comfortable. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't one bit. RMC restraints suck. Those, they, get, they need better lap bars. So so, I've said that the whole, several I'm times. I'm going to be brief and honest what I got to say about the front row ride. So, the front row is unbelievably spectacular of a view. Oh my God, is it beautiful. From like first drop and even seeing the loops yeah. like in person, unbelievable. It's a beautiful view. Wow, like it's, it's, out of all the air loopers, that thing still is just a Easily charm. Easily the best one. Okay. I would agree. I, I would say, I would say for right now, it is the best one. And probably yeah, until like, I'm, I like do a certain one that like can blow me away even more, that's easily the best one. Nothing's gonna come close. I agree. And I think that there's only two coasters we have not done today, that being Invader and Dark Coaster. So I think we're gonna try to get not get both of those taken care Well, I know Dark Coaster we, that we didn't do because the line was just unbearably long. Yeah. And then Invader, we just never went to it yet, so. Now the kids are all gone, so hopefully. Yeah, Nessie was a walk on. Oh, I forgot geez. to mention well, that. That's a little essentially. Like one train wait. But. Yeah. Like Apollo's Chariot was a walk on for us when we did the back row. So, yeah, this is the best time to be at the Oh, park. easily. Right now. And there's like the it's, sun being set a little and bit. I, I just want to say, right now it's 645 and the park closes at 8, so. Still, not bad though. Park closes at 9 tomorrow. We will be here for that as well. So Hopefully, right. if we're lucky, we're going down here. What will we get as our night ride? That's true. That is a good question. And another thing, too, hopefully, we'll see if the wolves are out here. So then uh, we may show you. If they're not out yes. there, then we'll see you for the next ride. Absolutely. All right, so one of the two remaining coasters we have not done yet today is Invader, which is a GCI family wooden coaster. Yes. Now, Dylan, there's something interesting about this ride, there's isn't there? There's something we have to mention, definitely. Yeah, so this ride right here has the original trains from uh, Gwazi from the GCI Millennium Flyer ones. And uh, can't wait to experience that in person again. So a piece of Gwazi rests upon this ride right here, and I'm super excited. I think some of the wood, too, Which eventually. is, I just have to point out, it's a little ironic because Gwazi was from Busch Gardens Tampa, and this is Busch Gardens Williamsburg, or Busch yeah. Gardens Africa. No, I mean, no, not Africa. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Europe. You're, you're kind of in a way, but yeah, it's true. Africa to Europe. Yeah, basically. this is something I was totally unaware of when I wrote this last year. I, I, I wasn't all that impressed with it. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, it's a family yeah. coaster. It doesn't provide that much of a thrill, but. And this is the only new credit for me that I have not done yet. There we go. So, let's go do Invader. Oh, just got off of Invader. Dylan, this was, uh, you only need credit for you. This yeah, time. this is kind of weird. I haven't got a new ride in in about some time, but I was very surprised. It felt good for front row and uh, OG Gwazi feel. Just the right bump. Yeah, <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit too bumpy for my take. I was in row number two, right behind them there. Uh, yeah, uh, it has some good laterals too, I noticed. Very good laterals. Yeah. The one thing I noticed is that it has that like Look, missing. Cheetah Hunt. No, never mind. I'm sorry. I thought it was Here. Cheetah Hunt. I, had that, say, like, I thought it was like it had that mini Mystic yeah. Timbers feel where like you rise mm -hmm. up into that yep. corner. So that's actually really cool how uh I don't know if that was the start of it there and then Mystic really showed it off, but not mm -hmm. bad, not too bad at all. So uh I like it and I'm glad I got to do uh OG Wazi's train there. Beautiful. Then what'd you think? Um I thought it was going to derail, like you know, pull a little El Toro. Yeah. Dylan almost got his drink out. <laughs> yeah, there were. You didn't turn the camera on. You, yeah, there were a couple of times it felt way out of control there, but surprisingly good. So with that, we only have one more coaster to do, and that is a dork coaster, which unfortunately, again, um, somebody's going to have to sit this You're one out. You're not even going to ask a team member, hey, am I too tall? Yeah, right. <laughs> 77 inches for that one. Hey, Intamin, I like your rides. You're Why do you hate tall you know, people? You're technically 78, right? Yes. Why not just walk up there and be like, am I too tall for this? Ah, uh, because I already know what's going to happen. No. I mean, just, I mean, just see what happens. Dear Intamin, yeah, I mean, if you read this by any chance, I know we're just some random channel that's out there. I'm 6'7", six, or 6'6", six, six, I almost said 6'7", six, 6'6 six, six here. 
what do I have against you people? Did, did we stomp on you when you were people in high school or something and like gave you guys wedgies or something? Help a homeboy out, man. I like your rides. Stop doing that to me, man. I don't like being dirty like that. Yeah, I feel your pain on that one. Nope, oh, off the dark coaster. So, um, somebody just made your day. Yes. He got acknowledged for once. They, they asked about uh, what's the best ride ever, and they said Incredible Hulk. I said, okay, you got some culture, but that's a roller coaster. I want to ride. And he goes, Transformers. I'm like, okay. But he goes, for this ride, nine. I, nine, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, that's right. Take it. Take it to heart. Exactly. Okay, we've done a couple of stuff since uh, we last did Invader. Lynn and I did a couple of rides on Dark Coaster. One Twice. in the, yes, one one in the, the front, one in the back. Thank uh, you for the footage. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, I was kind of underwhelmed, to be honest, because I did Tron, mm. and I don't know. I'd have to say that Tron is better than that, but I mean, I didn't do the original Curse of Dark Castle, so I can't have a say on it, oh, to be That's fair. That's a family ride, though. Dylan. Family coaster. I enjoy Dark Coaster. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. I wouldn't say there's a lot of, there's no. I like, mean, there's not a lot of crazy elements. On I there, need, but. I need it on like a lights on footage to see how the switch tracks work. Yeah, because uh, that's unique. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to get lights on, or I was trying to get the switch track footage uh, on the side, and man, it was so dark in there I couldn't see it. But you know, it happens, I guess. No biggie. Then after Dark Coaster, we decided to get the last part of we the night here ran. on the Bolton. I mean, yes. we ran, me and Kyle, Dylan jogged. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we kind of oh, have a bit of a disadvantage there, but uh, man, cannot go and wrong. And I had stuff on my back, too. You cannot go wrong with her Bolton. We, no. Dylan and I were in the, in the last row. Yeah, and yeah, I wanted to do last row, and I saw them, like, dart with the back row, and I was like... Rock and Wolf, I gotta give a big shout out yes. to you again. That dude was awesome. Absolutely. And uh, he actually got footage with Lynn on this. You know what? There's your okay. Morgan. Yeah, but then I was a total dork because he was like, who hey, we got here? And I was like, what? Oh, you're talking to me. Um, uh, my name's Lynn. Um, <laughs> nah, but he was very cool. And uh, we do want to thank him so much because uh, he was just such a genuine kind of guy. He made our oh, yeah. day. We he always did. seem to meet cool people whenever we go to a different park. And this is uh, no different. So Yeah, so Bush Arts Place, very excellent day one. No complaints. Um, I will say, though, with the back, you got some crazy pops there. But don't worry, when day two comes around, we'll make sure she gets some uh, back row rides. Mark my words. Yes. But very it impressive. And the weird thing is, too, we did, um, I believe it was the yellow train, I believe. It was yellow or blue. Regardless, uh, the audio worked really good on that one, and they actually had the face uh, part where the drop track was working. So that's good. Yes. So I hope they fix that wolf howl, because I don't know what happened to that. That's, yeah, that, that sucks. was disappointing. Ladies and gentlemen, that the most, boys and, and girls. But yeah. Get out yes, of our parks. Is now closed. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. We need to go. Especially you, by Have a pleasant evening, evening and visit yeah. us again soon. But um, we will visit very, uh, very soon. soon. Very Not soon. Not even yes. 24 hours. Maybe like 12 hours uh, or so. So I guess, well, I guess we should just say right now what everyone thought of day one. Uh, day one, excellent. Yes. No complaints. I think the only kind of complaint I have is like a little bit in the beginning of the day, how they kind of were a little slow in some of the ops, but as it picked on during the day, all oh, they wiped through. And the the last three hours, the crowd was dead. Yeah. Absolutely dead. I, I have one major complaint. Uh, two pieces of chicken, fries, and a drink, $32. With an, even with a, a discount on a, a platinum pass <laughs> there, that's kind of, that's my biggest complaint. It is what it is. Well, welcome to United Parks, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Lynn, how was your day one? It was really good. Definitely a nice start to the whole crap show that we had the day before. Those 36 hours of heck. We do not speak of that. <laughs> of chaos. Chaos. You can't take a, my last name anywhere. I won't speak now, but. And then, Kyle, what did you think of day one? It was excellent. Oh, come on. Yeah. Tell the people in front of the camera for Turn your Turn around the camera Here, I'll, and I'll talk to you. you so. Well, well, let me talk to you then. All right. <laughs> This park is excellent. Uh, a buddy of mine tried to tell me that this park is mid. I don't know what his deal is. This place Beat him has, up. This, no, I'm not going to do that. But this place has an excellent collection of roller coasters, a very solid collection. Alpin guys stole my soul like last year. Griffin, I love. Verbolt, and I love it. Pantheon is great. I mean, golly, there's not a really not a bad coaster here, if you ask me. No, not, I, that's a lot of Busch Gardens parks in fairness, yeah. but true. Um, Oh, can't, wait, can't wait for day two. We have a couple of uh, some water rides that were closed today that we want to ride tomorrow. So let's hope the that we are going open. to do. Yes. Mark my words. I have the waterproof backpack and the Vessi pack. 
that's going to have all the valuables in it. Keep them dry. So I think we should do this at the very end in front of this here. So come on, gather around there, buckos here. So I just walked away. Oh God, no. Like a Mike so Tyson on that is it for day conference. one. We will see you guys for day two of Busch Gardens Williamsburg as we're in front of one of the best roller coasters made by Zier. Thank you guys for watching. Day two coming on up. See you guys later.